Okay, today is a biggie. So, I had gotten a new awesome Disney animator, and it is Cinderella in her maid's outfit, also known as a scullery outfit. And I got her for $35 on eBay, of course, even though it has an Amazon package, which I find interesting, because I know I ordered it off of eBay. So, I don't know. Maybe they're in cahoots. So, here are some Air Plus bags. Get them out of the way. I wasn't expecting this girl until Friday, so I was pleasantly surprised when I got the notification that said, delivered. I was like, hell yeah. So, uh, this is going to be a loud video, so at some point I'm definitely going to um, pause and then continue. So, this is her outfit, um, which is more appropriate because the Cinderella doll now that's made is really pretty, but she didn't have the ball gown because she didn't know Prince Charming when she was a child, obviously. So, this is, that's her in her maid's outfit, which is the outfit that she came in. This is the dress that those crazy psychopath stepsisters tore up, those bitches, so. <laughs> Um, and this is kind of blurry. I'm having trouble focusing this. I'm filming it on a tablet for the first time. Um, okay. So, Disney Animators Collection celebrates our beloved films with the reimagining of fan-favorite characters as young renditions. Artists from across the Walt Disney Company skillfully impart the unique personalities, quirks, and expressions of our beloved characters into new hand-drawn sketches, bringing the characters to life in the most authentic way possible. Inspired by the character design from Disney's Cinderella, this young interpretation recaptures the kind and compassionate nature of the original character. Paired with her beloved Bruno, she shows that fairy tales can last past midnight. Her story and the Little Mermaid Ariels were my favorite. And I love it. And I'm really excited to have this doll. So, this is her now. <gasps> oh, is she pretty? Ah! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and open it because the package opening is going to be quite loud. And that's annoying for everyone. Plus, I can't film and open these boxes because animator boxes are no joke. But look at Bruno. Oh my god, I'm way excited. Alright, I'll be back in a couple months. Okay, so the madness is back. Now, this is Cinderella, deboxed and unpackaged. Some dolls I don't like to take out of the packages, but I love baby dolls. And I love to hold them. And animators are so fun to play with and look at. And I'm, I guess I'm just going to start from the top. First of all, she has really beautiful hair. It's more golden than um, the other doll. The other Cinderella doll, because that one to me looks a bit more platinum. Um, she's got gorgeous eyes. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love her face. She looks so innocent. <laughs> her little button nose. You see the way it turns up just so slightly. And pretty lips. And beautiful hand-painted eyebrows and blush and everything. These dolls are just fantastic. They are made of vinyl. So mildly squishy, um, which is nice, you know, give it a little bit more of an authentic feel. She's got her apron. She sort of looks like Gretel from Hansel and Gretel. Um, so maybe if I ever decided to do like a personalized um, Disney animator of Hansel and Gretel, I could get that guy, what's his name, from Frozen, the blonde one, um, Kristoff. And, you know, I could I could manage that because... They both kind of have that German look to them. Um, here is Bruno. I keep calling him Bingo in my head, even though I know that's not his name. Um, he's got his little tongue out. He has a blep. <laughs> and her hair is very wavy and curly and very, very pretty. Her outfit, this is, um, you know, like a polyester to feel like satin. This is more of a cotton the dress is underneath it. Um, the apron is attached. It is not removable. There's no pocket. 
but they do have a really cute patch on here. And I like that it's not exactly the same blue as her eyes and also the same blue as her dress because contrast, you know? Um, she's got some eyelet lace on the hem of the dress, very cute ankle socks, and little brown Mary Jane shoes that are flat. Belle has the same shoes in the blue, the blue outfit version. She also has, which I didn't notice before, a little kerchief on her head. Or like a rag. It's not a kerchief because it's not covering it. But it's supposed to look like a headband. Now, it's my understanding that there weren't um, many of these particular dolls made. I could be wrong. But it is the first time that she was released in her scullery outfit, which is really terrific. When she's in her blue dress, she's with Gus the mouse. Which is great too, you know. Or Jack. Is it Jack? Jack is the skinny one. I think she's with Jack. Um, yeah, and so this is really cool. And even the box is cute. Like, I kind of feel bad throwing it away. I might um, cut out the characters and just save it. Like, tell me that's not adorable. See, there's Gus and Jack, the mice, the magical pumpkin, Cinderella as, a, you know, a baby. But again, the only thing that's weird about it is because the prince did not meet her until they were at least in their late teens, early 20s. I know I'm very literal about this, but <laughs> that kind of bugs me. It's the same thing with Belle in the yellow gown. Like, no. <laughs> she did not meet the Beast until she was an adult. So why would three-year-old Belle have the yellow gown? It's a timeless gown. It makes no sense. But what I think I'm going to do is cut out these characters because they're really cute. And probably put them in a scrapbook. Look at this. She's trying on the, the glass slipper. Isn't that sweet? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I wish they had on um, more of the boys as well. I think they only have, like, Aladdin and um, that guy from... What's it called? From Rapunzel. Tangled. I can't remember his name. I, I didn't really see that movie. I think I've only seen parts of it. And they only have Kristoff. They don't have... Any of the princes, like Aurora's Prince or Prince Charming or the Beast, <laughs> I guess people would be freaked out by that. But again, the Beast wouldn't have been the Beast at this age anyway. He would have still been a little boy. But anyway, that aside, I love her. She is instantly one of my favorites. And I I don't know. I'm, I'm just enamored with her. So, I hope everyone enjoys their evening. It's Wednesday in New York, Wednesday night. So, two more days of hell, and then the weekend. So, yay! Alright, have a good night, everybody.